Just when school started, a restaurant wanted me to make a big wooden panel for them as a sliding door. They asked me at the start of the school year when it wasn't very busy, so of course I said yes. So they loaded a truckload of Oregon on my doorstep, and here I am using the table saw to put a fresh edge onto them. Luckily, my friend Ethan, who also helped me make the last two wooden washers, was there to help. Then we put the shop back together as we had to completely mess it up to fit the lumber in, and then we could use the thickness planer to plane them down to a consistent thickness. It was a very boring process, so Ethan put on some music from his phone on my speaker, which really gave us the extra energy needed to push through the day. So this is basically how big the door is going to be, and I've laid it across my table saw and my workbench to have it fit in my workshop. And it is just a little bit too wide being 1165, but I actually need it to be 1120. In past projects, I probably would have left it and then just glue it up and rip it to width later. Now for this one, this 2.6 by 1.2 meters door, it's just not practical to rip it down on my workshop once it's all glued up. So I'll just have to rip some of this timber beforehand and hopefully that'll work out. And now we are at just a little bit under 1120, which is good enough. So now I might just glue it up. And did I mention that I only have four clamps that goes across the entire width of this thing? So this is going to be interesting. And then came the standard process. This took an entire day to do, even with the load being shared between the two of us. For the first phase, it was just Ethan and me in a workshop, so we had to f try and flip the door without breaking the door or breaking our bones. For the other phase, I had another friend coming over and his timing couldn't have been better. Hi Lucas. Then with help from two of my friends, we glued the spotted gum edging on, which we had to put on some spacers down to get it roughly centered. The next day, I took off the plants and trimmed the door to length. Because the door was so wide, Holding the trims on the end grain with just a butt joint will not last very long due to seasonal wood movement. So I used my router to make a tenon across the full width of the door on both sides, which took a very long time and I also had to flip it, which was not fun at all. After that was done, I managed to bring it outside with help from my mum and so that I can use the table saw to cut the corresponding mortises in the end rail. The restaurant only asked for a big wooden panel with no doorknobs or any sliding mechanism, just a huge panel. So after hammering the end rails on, it was pretty much done. And that concludes this project for the wooden barn door. It is quite a simple project, but it was really tedious to make with a lot of stuff to do that just took a while. And as you can see, I'm in school uniform, which actually implies that I'm back at school now. And so far, IB's been hitting us pretty hard, as you can see from the lack of videos this month. But I'm going to do what I can do and hopefully post a few more of them.